Okay, guys, we've got the um, the overflow from drilling made, so that works very well. Deposits all of the debris down there. It also catches the core when it comes out. Um, we have the corn machine set to the right angle, and it uh, works very nicely. And the ultimate result is this. Uh, it's a pipe that ventures into the slab and goes out. And the concept is that if, you, if it's raining, stuff comes across the uh, stuff comes across the uh, whatever and goes out. I know this is a horrible video. I'm sorry. I'm a bit tired. It's been a long day. But then it goes out way out to the garden. Uh, the top one are going to be the longest. The next set will be a little shorter, and the next set on the bottom will be a bit shorter, so that the drips from one pipe don't hit another pipe and cause drain and cause a uh, what do you call it? Flashing. So if you look the level right here is the the, the balcony, and then you've got this scoop that's right in the it comes 100 mil into the balcony. Um, this one I put in quickly. I need to put a screw, etc. But this is just a sample, okay? So, um, yeah, I need to glue and all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that's got to be done still for waterproofing. Um, this is just my example. Very good. Thank you. Later, bye. Okay, this is an example of leaks coming through the connection between the bricks and the slab. And this is one of the big reasons we have the, uh, the rebar resting problems. So on the inside here, we just have some water. This is a good picture because it's being done when there's no rain. And this is just water that I'm using to do drilling. But if you see the crack between the slab and the bricks, that is where water is getting through and getting into the rebar. So that's uh, one reason that the bigger pipes will do a lot of good. But then secondly, we still need to seal these areas and remove these old pipes. Okay, no, thanks. Later, bye. Okay, this is the old hole and pipe if you look right in the middle of the picture uh, that's the pipe coming from the air conditioner but that's the drain pipe notice how big the leaf is compared to the drain pipe but i'm running water on the other side of the balcony right now and you can see if you look over here the water is coming from the other side of the balcony and what is it doing it's dropping into that little tongue that i made on purpose so that the low points would drain completely. The water is not even going over near the old pipe, which the old pipe is in the wrong place anyway, based on the drainage design of the balcony itself. So this is just an example of how it's supposed to work.
Okay. This is the second one done. Well, it's not done perfect completely, but it's functionally done. I would like to seal around it, of course, but one nice thing is you can spray off your balcony if you want. And all the leaves go down to the garden where they should be. And actually, I like leaves in the garden because they make fertilizer for me, for all of the plants. So there's the pipe, and everything goes down into the garden. Isn't that lovely? Okay, very good, guys. Catch you later. Bye.